will stop on understanding spiritual warfare. Now let's go back to the book of Job. Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 1. Help me, let's go to the book of Job, chapter 1. Help me, Job, chapter 1. Job, chapter 1. Okay, you brought First Peter. I wanted us to go to Job first, and then we come to First Peter. Okay, let's begin with First Peter. The Bible says, chapter 1, chapter 5 of First Peter, verses 8. The Bible says, be sober. Let's say it together. Be sober. Let's say it again. Be sober. Amen. Be sober. I will not fall with those traps. I refuse warfare. Be sober. Well balanced. Self discipline. Be alert and conscious at all times that that enemy of yours. Now listen, he is not our enemy. He is your enemy. And let me tell you, you have a full-time adversary called the devil. Anybody who tells you otherwise doesn't love you. That adversary of yours, that enemy of yours, and if for lack of any doubt, he is called the devil. If you ever thought otherwise, your enemy is called the devil. And I want you to listen to me this week. He brawls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. The devil is looking for someone to devour. Go to Job. Now, I told you this. There are only two platforms of warfare. The enemy fights us through two platforms. And each one of us is in either. Nobody is in no man's land. Number one, the enemy fights by suppression or oppression. What is the difference between suppression and oppression? It's a little English battle. What is the difference between suppression and oppression? Oppression. Suppression is to silence. Oppression is to kill silently. So he either suppresses you and oppress you or expose you and embarrass you. There are no other ways. Shetanya na piga watu kwa vitungapi. Suppress. Silent battles, internal frustration, die alone, bleed secretly, be so, be, be so, be so concerned of the public that you would rather die alone. But the bottom line is to die. The other part of it is expose you and embarrass you. That's all. Shetani vita yake ni mbili. Kukuexpose na kukuaribia jina ama kukuficha na kukuua na stress. Surprisingly, most of the time, people who are going through personal private battles always aid the devil to enhance public other people public battles. Come with me. L let me show you something. It takes your frustration to look for someone's frustration to calm your frustrations. Wakati unapitia shida, unatafuta mtu anapitia shida kuchitia moyo kwa shida sako. Siko peke yangu. Mimi sio ya kwanza. Bora yangu haijachulikana. Actually you are very loud to embarrass to cover Look at me, and I can look at your eyes, and I'm not a prophet. But sometimes I can pick something. Any man who celebrates a fall is going through a fall. A man who is doing well doesn't celebrate pain. Talk to me. 
<laughs> Come with me. The devil is a schemer. It's either through exposure to embarrass you or private battles to oppress you. Ebu ni ulise jirani yako. Yako enye ulipangiwa na shetani ni gani? Ukiona kuongeleshi direct ako na private ata ataki ujue. Hakuna mtu apiti vita ni uongo. Ni uongo asipo kwaribia kasi ata ingia kwa mume. Asipo ingia kwa mume ata ingia kwa mtoto. Asipo ingia kwa mtoto ata ingia kwa msasi. Asipo ingia kwa msasi rafiki yako ata kuhusa. Na akishindwa hiyo ata kuja kwa ndoto. Na akishindwa kwa ndoto ata ingia kwa mwili. Ata kuletea ugonjwa. Akishindwa hiyo ata ingia kwa pesa. Ni vita. Matokeo ni tese. Mtu mwenye amefutwa kasi, mtu mwenye ameharibiwa bishara, mtu ambaye mume wake amemtesa, mtu ambaye anateswa na mtoto the ultimate is the same. It is us who try to categorize battles and feel like you are going through a serious battle than me because mine is public and embarrassing or private and stress, but the ultimate is the same. That's why the Bible says he uses schemes. Inaitwa mbinu. Hakuna silaha yoyote iliyo. Kinyum. Sikia, shetani anajua gani inawa kwako. Wale ambao mama yako na baba yako walishinda wakikutusi. Shetani anajua public embarrassment haikusumbui. Umeambiwa ya kutosha. Ulitembea naked mpaka ulipokuwa miaka 16. Umeitwa kila kitu. Listen, that's why the street women have no embarrassment. Even on Sunday morning, calling people who are going to church. Hey, customer, why? They have no embarrassment. So hakuna vile utamuita kahaba. It doesn't make sense. But they have private battles. Anybody will private battles try to cover with public image. And anybody with public battles tries to cover it with public life. Kila kitu kimearibika wacha niishi maisha yangu. Sina maisha wacha niende nijitete mtaani. Hebu niulize irani tena. Yako ni kani? Na sikia. Can I shock you? Pia unasanunua vita ya mtu mwingine. Actually, you can invite somebody's battles. Let me give you a proof. Ansa kuongea kwenu kuhusu ndoa ya nani ilifunjika, nani aliwachwa, mzee wa nani alipatikana, na unaambia mzee yako ama unaambia mke wako. Trust me, I swear. Trust me. Altars are raised through conversations that brings third parties on board. I'm telling you. Some of our battles are important. Ukisikia mtu amefutwa kasi, uchapata lugha ya kuongea. Don't invite people's battles. Ukisikia mtoto wa mtu amepata mimba na uko na katoto, funga mdomo. The engagement of the enemy is either private oppression suppression or public embarrassment. Kuna watu wako na ombi moja kwa maisha. Hata nikiingia kwa vituko aina gani? I had somebody who said he has lost his job for five years, I mean five months. The wife doesn't know. He cannot tell the wife. Why? Because his battles are private. There are people who are dying secretly, silently. And because they can do a make-up, I'm glad it's called make-up. <laughs> that means something was lost. So you're trying to do what we call first... It's called face lifting or face something. Face show. It's called face lifting. Ni kama vile gari inapata accident, alafu unanunua ininia mbele, unakuja kuingisa, sasa watu wanaona gari ni umpia, lakini wajui ilikuwa na accident. Ni kama tukupaga gari, gari lipata accident. Ebu angalia jirani yako, anakaa private ama public. Kuna mtu saisi hana shida na ndoa yake. Lakini pesa imemkata. 
It's the same devil, different departments. It's the same devil. What is the motivation of any battle to frustrate your purpose? Watu wengine wanafaulu kiuchumi. Nyumbani inakuwa moshi. So, there was a day. Uh-uh, verses 1. There was a man. Now, the man, before it is Job, the man is a principle. Which could be you. Because the Bible says everything written is written for our learning. Can I provoke you again? Tell your neighbor kuna vita unapitia. Usijaribu kuni... Usijaribu kuni lipstick hapa na kufaa tai. Kuna vita! That's why people who have gone through tough times have the spirit of compassion. People who are newly employed seem to be judgmental. Listen, when you sympathize with somebody's battle, you skip it. When you judge, you sign up. Ukiambia mtu wewe ulikuwa mchinga namna gani ukaanguka physics, ume sign up for a class of physics. Yeah, na engineering. Ulianguja, ulishinduache kuchunga mwanaume, ume sign up. Yeah, hicho ni Kiswahili? Inaongea. Yeah. Wanga bwana usha alika vita ya mtu. Kwenda huko mnajifanya mwele vita. Na shida ni hii. You invite by judging such that you lose the experience of the person you are judging who would have become your help in days of your darkness. So you will be embarrassed to ask them how did you survive? Because you are part of those who threw stones. Yes, walisema Mwenye ajapitia hii maneno akuwe wa kwanza kutupa mawe. Watu wote wanatupa mawe ni wanafiki. Mm. Ni kama vile wa, wale wanga bashaiba kama mimi. Ushaiba. Ushatambua kwa uwisi mnakuwa kikundi. Alafu mkipatikana you look for who to victimize. So you end up victimizing the victim. Muna mwenye wote mwisi mwisi so mwenye anapigwa mawe ni mwenye mume mwipia Most people who condemn and judge have an experience of what they are condemning Ulijuaje So there was a man Okay before the man let's go to second Timothy Let me qualify what I'm saying Second Timothy Understanding spiritual warfare. Nasikia kinyo nimesema, shetani anajua watu wengine huwezi kuwa frustrate kwa ndoa. Kuka yake alikuwa kisirani. Baba yake alikuwa terrorist. Nduku sake wote ukienda kwa iyo nyumba, iyo compound, chioni ni nduru. So mambu ya kuchapwa na mume na kuachwa na kutumika vibaya is not an issue. Mama yake, baba yake alimrep. Yes. What are you talking about? Ati mwanaume alilala na mimi na kuniacha. Baba alinirep. So, so those stories don't bother them. You need to touch them in the area of health. Wanaokopa kifo. So hata wakati wako wagonjwa, you keep telling them. Na unaweza kufa. Na unaweza kufa. Hata hii chakula unakula inaweza kukuua. Unaweza lala. Nani alikwambia utaamka kesho asubuhi? So analala kistuka stuka because because hapo ndio anaokopa kuna watu wanaokopa umaskini shetani akajua oh umaskini ndio inakufurusha pesa haikai kwa mvuko yako pesa sote una invest unakoniwa marafiki zako wote ni machambasi kuna watu wako na wanataka kuchunga china hey setaki embarrassment if i knew it will not work i would rather not to the devil will skim along that area he will make sure every person that comes your way is a con man. Girls who fear to be dumped are dumped a hundred times. Women who fear to be widowed become widowed early. People who fear losing their jobs lose their jobs early. People who fear public embarrassment are always talked about. 
People who fear disease are always sick, even when they are not. Second Timothy. Look at verses, verses 7. Second Timothy chapter 1, verses 7. What does it say? For God. Let's read together. For God did not give us a spirit. Mark the word a spirit. Not the spirit. A spirit of dimity, which is fear, or cowardice, or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and love, sound mind, sound judgment, sound personal discipline, which is what? Ability that results in calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Let's analyze it. Look at me. Everything that happened to your life has a spirit, whether good or bad. Everything that happens around your life has a spiritual agent. Everything. Let me prove it to you. God did not give us the spirit of fear. So fear is spirit. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So fear is And everything that relates to fear is a spirit. But he has given us the, a spirit of what? Give it to me in a simple version. Give it to me in a simple version, brother, if you don't mind. God doesn't want us to be shy. No, give me an IV or King James. This one is good for those of us from Nalilbe. For the spirit, for the spirit God gave us does not make us dimmed. So fear has a spirit behind it. Death has a spirit behind it. Anxiety has a spirit behind it. Poverty has a spirit behind it. Unforgiveness has a spirit behind it. Bitterness has a spirit behind it. Anxiety has a spirit behind it. But he has given us the spirit of power. But of power. So power has a spirit behind it. Love has a spirit behind it. Soberness, sound mind has a spirit behind it. Every behavior has an agent an aid, a sponsor of a spirit. Let me prove the point. Because you are first spirit, you have a soul. You live in a body. It takes a spirit to influence a spirit. So listen to me. The first aspect of our spiritual attacks is in the spirit. Look at me, my friends. The first line of attack is in the spirit. Why? The real you is the spirit. The Bible says when you get to a strong, a strong man's house, the first thing is you bind the strong man. Who is the strong man in you? The spirit. Who is the real you? The spirit. Every behavior has a spirit. Generosity has a spirit. No, no, not even has a spirit. Is a spirit. Stinginess is a spirit. Shyness is a spirit. Kuna shyness ambaye is beyond. There is a normal talkative person. But there is excess. Have you discovered when a demon possesses a man? The first place they attack is the mouth. Ukitaka kujua tu mtu wamekuwa mwenda simu. Ishara ya kwanza mdomo inapotesa network. Ushatambua roho wa Mungu akiingia ndani ya mtu. Ishara ya kwanza ya mabadiliko ni mdomo. Wow. Tumeanza je Monday? I want to ask you a question. Are you suffering under oppression or are you suffering under public harassment? All of us in one way or another are embarrassed or are privately dying. Listen, some people have no public scandals, but they have private embarrassment 
They have a rare with the landlord. Talk to me. Yeah. That's why some people can be um, twisted to compromise lest I make it public. So I will make it public and because that is where your scar is, you would rather compromise, sell, give out anything to protect your name. Now listen, when you are a minister like me, there are battles you can't avoid. Both. Especially, and not only a minister, any person. When God raises you economically, in leadership, your marriage is the talk of town. Your husband carries you on the street. Your wife washes you. When you become the climax of life, any public success attracts public attacks. Private success has private attacks. We shall know what one by publicly they look okay, but privately they kill each other. Skumoja ni likongo na gari nikiwa na nyuki. Mze na mama waka nikonga. Wakati wana shuka awacha malisa story. Mama na muambia nilikuwa mge ikelele yako. Hona sasa vitu mefanya. So mze anasema, unana ima na muke ndia mefanya ni kukonge. Kumbe walikuwa na kombana. Kambi, ah, munilipe pesa angu, muendele na story yonu. Mukonge gari ingine mbele. Listen. You see that man? You see this man? He went through both. He went through public embarrassment. Wachoraji wa Biblia na wala ambao walifundishwa manners. Wametuwekea mbaka hapa na kufunika kaleso hapa. Yesu alisulubishwa naked. Naked. Yes, that's why mama yake aliambia mama yake enda nyumbani. Wacha kuenda. Yesu alisulubishwa naked. Ile vile alitumia kuchifunika. Yesu alitoa. Listen. It is not sweet to be fed. It's not. It carries a package of everything. Listen. Fame makes you visible, but it makes you vulnerable. If you are to shoot right now, the easiest person to shoot is me. I am visible, so I'm vulnerable. That's why Mutuaki was declared president. Vitu kadai nawekwa kama mtaratara wa maisha yake. Ya kwanza, you drive fat. Magari ya president lazima yende speed. Ili kama kuna mtu wana aim. The speed is such that you cannot target. Number two, they, they, they make you, they, they make you, they, 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 they an English what I'm looking for. They make sure that you, you can be canvas. You, 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 you can be, you can be easily managed. You, you, you are flexible to, you are subject to those who are handling you. But when you are also private and you have your personal success, you fear the public. Don't you know women who are beaten so badly, but because they have a public image, they would rather suffer privately. Everyone will say, Jiranyago, go on a pesanga, one focus I. On a villa, I'm a substitute. You are broke, na smile. Ukitaka kujua mtu wako na pesa, hana smile mingi. Ukiona hana smile sana, hana compensate. Let's go to job. Let's finish there for a moment. Let's finish there. Everybody goes through some battles. Either publicly or privately. I want to tell the men of God who are here. When God makes you visible, he has to prepare you to manage public attacks. I'm telling you. You will raise the dead like Jesus said. And they will say you did it under the power of, of Belzebub. You will be generous and people will say you are showing off. You will raise your children well, but they will steal from you. 
utalipia watoto wako school fees ufanye kila kitu umewanunulia gari baada ya kuomba gari wanaiba ha? utapenda mume wako kama mchinga and still utapenda mke mungangane na yeye wakati mnafika mahali mnataka kufaulu na mmepata pesa kidogo your wife turns around you will pray until you succeed everybody is going through some battles don't lie that's why it's good to be a pastor you know people so this man was in the land of us his name was job and that man was blameless and upright and one who feared god with reference and abstain from and turn away from evil because he honored God. Question. Were there evil people those days? Who was attacked? Job. Who told you living right and doing good saves you from the devil? Look at me. Sin promotes the devil. Righteousness provokes the devil. The devil will not initiate a warfare on you if you are promoting him. Will not. Thank God for Jesus. He doesn't judge. He graces. Now let me tell you something. The enemy will always attack you in your area. Write this down. The enemy will attack you in three areas. Number one, he will attack you in your area of strength. The enemy will target your strength. If you are generous, that is where you will be. If you are a loving person, that's where you will be attacked. If you are a person who trusts people, that is where you will be attacked. If you are a pastor, that's where you'll be attacked. If you are a businessman, that's where you'll be attacked. If you have a dream for a family, that's where you'll be attacked. If your children are your dream, that is where you'll be attacked. He will attack you in your area of strength. Number two, he will attack you in your area of assignment. He will attack you in your area of assignment. If the devil knows is raising you for another hundred a thousand people. He knows if I hit you, I will have dealt with a thousand. Look at your challenges again. It could be that you represent more than. That's why you love your pastor. Pray for your pastor. Because your pastor naturally by being your shepherd, chooses to confront the wolves on your behalf. Namujue Umbwa mwitu hawakulange mchungaji. Wanakula kondo. Munajua hivyo? Umbwa mwitu hawakuli nani? Mchungaji. Wanakula nani? Kondo. Kwa hivyo ukisikia mchungaji amekwarwa na umbwa mwitu ni kwa sababu ya usalama wako. Usikuwe mchinga. Ni mchungaji anajitoa. They fight. Listen, David fought a lion, not because a lion wanted to eat David. The lion wanted the, the sheep. The bear wanted the sheep, not the shepherd. How stupid would it be for the sheep to have an evening fellowship discussing how weak the shepherd is? Are you breathing? This man called Job. Listen to this so that I, I, I allow you to go. The first battles come from the spirit, spiritual line. Look at me, I want to shock you. When the devil wants to attack you, he begins by your spiritual line. He could attack a kwenda kanisa has nothing to do with time it has nothing to do with preaching. It has nothing to do with the pastor. It has everything to do with your warfare. Ni vita. Nasikia, vita ni yako. 
Sichisikii kwenda kanisa it's not normal. He attacks kwa nini watu hata sahi wenye umekuja lunch hour. There are people who discourage you from coming. You wonder why? Mulikosana nini na pastor? Usiwalau wako kwa vita. The devil knows their spectrum begins with their spiritual life. Anybody who hates anything that enhances their spiritual life is under spiritual attack. Sichisikii kwenda maombi. Kanisa imesidi na masadaka. Kwa namuna kitu ya kufanya munaenda kanisa saa saba. Na we unakulanga kila saa saba. Una kitu ya kufanya. Mutu aluniambia. Unambia nanga nini yu watu kila saa saba. You want, to, you, you, you want to know what I told him? You know some of you think I'm very kind. <laughs> Listen. Ukisikia any negativity on spirit, anything that fits your spirit, is a spiritual attack. Sikia wata mungu, it is not normal than in Eldoret on Sunday. People are more in a car wash than in the church service. It's a spiritual attack against our husbands, against our businesses, against our resources, against our county, against our institutions, against our community. It is wrong to have a community who go to a car wash on Sunday to wash the blessings from a God they cannot go and wash. It's wrong. It's a spiritual attack. You know where our city is going. Look at me. Sumunatoka Eldoret. Tangu Eldoret waanse kufungua mabiashara chumapili. Tangu Eldoret waanse kuenda kawash chumapili. Nightclub si metokelesea Eldoret. Wanasema Mombasa inaongosa. Eldoret ni apili. When the spiritual position is attacked, there is always a substitute. And trust me, those of you who discredit church, look at where your husband goes on Friday. They go to Tamasha. Tulifungua lunch hour, tukasumbuliwa hapa. Hey, muna pika kelele, kuna pika kelele. Sahi kuna nightclub, imefunguliwa hapa. Nobody's talking. People are full. It's dangerous. Eldoret on Sunday streets are full. And am I against people going to business? No. But at least go to church first. Ukisikia muke wako, mume wako, watoto wako, anasema, leo hati jisiki kwenda church, tuende swimming. Ujue kumekujwa. Kumefanya nini? E nataka tuende risasi, sijui tuone nyumba yetu. Wakati hamukwa na gari, hamukwa na pesa, hamukwa na nyumba, mulienda kwa nyumba ya mungu. Ukisikia watu kisi ya makanisa imesidi na pesa, ujue kuna spiritual attack towards your finances. Come with me. Follow anybody who attacks giving in the church. See their spiritual, I mean their financial life. Look at all critics of church and pastors. They only criticize until their children become teenagers. Anybody who was teenagers and above have stopped criticizing the church. Criticism of the church is for the young boys and girls. Hata usipoenda utaweka mkono kwa TV. Bwana aingilia tikati. Utaomba. Utaenda Mombasa, utaenda Nigeria, utaenda Uganda, utakuja Eldoret, utaenda Garissa, utatafuta msaada. Ni mtu wako na afya tu ambaye anafikiri madaktari wanataka pesa. Siku ile utakonjeka. Mtu mwenye wako afya tu ndio anajua kuna daktari Muluya, kuna daktari Mukale, kuna daktari Mukisi. Siku ile utashikwa na nini? Ni mchinga tu mtu mwenye ako navyo. Mimi sipendi wakale, sipendi wakikuyu, sipendi watukana, sipendi wakikijaluo nyenye. Siku ile watakwambia wanataka damu. Enye iko kwa mujaluo. I'm talking to you. You can only talk big because you have something in your wallet. Wait until you become stranded with life. 
You don't care who helps you. Listen, good Samaritans have no names. Angels have no identities. The Bible says they come as strangers. Big mouths have not experienced issues. That's why I know what it means. Kufunga kanisa ni raisi. Nasikia wachungaji mulio hapa. Kama mungu wamekupea wa shirika msini, shukuru mungu. Wacha kutamani yetu ishi. Wa shirika wengi ni vita mingi. Ambia mungu wakupea muscles kwanza. Hii vitu muna tusema, hey, ya kona kanisa kupa. It's not something that... Sikia, ukiwa tajiri, umealika wesi. So wakati watu nisema unanisha kari mzuri, ziju unangengengenge, wana kusha expose. Ati huyo msichana ni murembo. Umealika ume, 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 ume ma, ma, mafisi. <laughs> Listen. God gives you success where you have survived. Amen. Trust me. God would not give me this lunch hour if he has not given me the capacity to manage the equivalent attacks that comes with success and glory. For 30 years when Jesus was silent, there was no devil around until a voice came from heaven and said, this is my beloved son. I make public declaration. I give him favor. And the Bible says, he was led to the wilderness where for 40 days and 40 nights. Listen. Atipora niko na amani. Amani gani? Unakufa kisiri. Ebu jaribu, weka nini kwa shingo ya jirani yako. Sikia blood pressure vile naenda. Angalia vile naenda. Kila mtu wako na mwane mapa. Karibu yukuchome. Kila mtu wako. Sikia. In fact, let me tell you for free. Ukisikia mtu wa maya na wea vita ya watu wengine. Ako na vita tosha. Anataka kupumbasa watu wa sijue. Yeah. They say when you've never handled money, anytime you get some little money, you think everybody around you is a thief. When you have not been disappointed in relationship and marriage, you think any man that, any woman that comes close to your man or any man that comes close to your woman is interested. Watu wangwe, muna kaa vita. Ata wengine kitu imekutua nyumbani siyo kasi, ni vita. Wengine ufurai jua ikianza kuteremuka hivi, kwa sababu karibu rudi. Mokadishu. Amani ya buwane wenanyi. Na waulisa suwali ya mwisho. Vita yako ni ya public ama private. Either way. Either. Lengo ya shetani ni the same. Trust me. Ukisikia mtu wa mearibiwa jina mbaka wa meweko kwa pillboard. Yake siyo mbaya kama yako. Hile yako pillboard private. Zao nasikia mtu wako na alsas. Na anaka wako na kasi. Ako na nyumba. Ako na muke. Ako na mume. Ako na maumbile. Na ati ako na alsas. Tangu lini kasi na mume na muke, na sura nzuri, na pesa ikalete alsas. Kuna kitu. Kwanza wale watu wanaokopa embarrassment ya public. Wanakufanga privately. Thank God for crucifixion. Na wanda pibilena sema pepa msalaba yako. Mwenye. Usingojo usulubishwe, chisulubishwe. Mwenye. Wakita kuja kukupigia mshubari ambia ni machipigia tayari. Wakipita ushuke, uchukua tena mshalaba yako. Usongo. I bless you in Jesus name. I am here to coach you this week. On understanding spiritual. Listen. Anything as a sponsoring spirit behind it. Anything. Anything. Whether good or bad. Chukwa sadaka ni wabarika. Na meondoa. Usuni yangu. Na nifanyi. Nataka kualika kwa maombi jioni ya leo from 530. 
mpaka saa moja tuko na maombi hapa is very important chukua sadaka kama uko na sadaka tafadhali wala mnaniangalia kwa mtandao chukua sadaka tafadhali kama unahitaji bahasha kuna mashamansi karibu na wewe if you have listen i've encouraged you that before the week begins get what i call a fast fruit get get a prophetic offering now say me lord i am giving this offering because of what i'm believing you for i will give a testimony i'll give my thanksgiving and my tithe at the end of the week but today i'm giving you my expectation i'm giving an offering today for an expectation with our giving today we are honoring god and we are acknowledging that he is our source Yes, we are acknowledging that you fight our battles. We are acknowledging that you are ahead of our decisions. With our giving today, we honor you, Lord. So, watch over us this afternoon. Bless the work of our hands. Bring us tonight for prayer. I bless again those who have traveled to schools, those who are traveling tomorrow throughout this week. May the grace be sufficient. Bless us in Jesus' name. If you have your tithe, your fast fruit, I'll be receiving it here. Don't drop it on the offering bag. Come over here. I love you. Good afternoon. See you tonight. Bring me a friend tomorrow. Yes. Have you heard about it?